in the city lifestyle, it can be really hard to connect to nature. It's so rare that we get to go hiking or any of the things that we love doing outdoors can be really tough living in the city. It was amazing to be able to do that together. We don't take that for granted because that doesn't get to happen in the hustle and bustle of the day to day of everything. Oh. I do, I do it well. I'm fly, I'm fly as hell. People say so. It's lunch. People say so. All right, babe, go in Cheers. for that blueberry pound cake. People say so. People say so. Going to New Brunswick was super exciting because the only experience I'd had there before was with my family, so I had really awesome memories there, and I was so excited to go back. I've never seen the east coast of Canada. Seeing those places on postcards as a kid and finally being able to go there and see it in real life was a magical experience. Look at all the trees, it's so pretty. And we took a really long drive, which was amazing because it was during golden hour, so the sun was setting and we were just, you know, booking it down the highway in the Mustang and, you know, obviously following the speed limits. <laughs> Straight lines, blur lines. She's trained for the vlog camera. Your hand, my cheek. I could overdose when you touch me. Zippy, Savannah, and Ash. This is where it's at, and look at this beautiful view. You're not scared anymore? I bet you he's still scared. I knew the horses would like him. High five. We Killed did it. it. We did it together. Ready for the roller coaster. The up and down excites you. This is where we're sleeping tonight. It's just so quaint and beautiful here. There's Adam and our home for the evening. It was so nice to just hang out in nature. It's so cool here. There's nothing like being able to really reconnect and that dome was just so cute. Beautiful tub life. It's so warm and gorgeous. I have a feeling Tori doesn't like water activities, but you know when we do it together, it's a different experience. And we didn't fall into the water, so that was that was a big plus. <laughs> it's so stunning. And Adam's taking me for a little ride. ended up at a sort of hidden, unique waterfall that was down in the depths of this really beautiful, vast landscape. Woo! Look up there. First Canadian waterfall. First Canadian waterfall. I'm shaking off what you throw. Stepping out of the shadows. Being able to see nature one day, but then be inspired by the city the next is really important for us. We are heading on a bike ride. We're gonna go on an adventure. This is my little bike over here. So we just biked down that bridge right there. And, and now, now we've stopped for some local beer. We are at the Harvest Jazz and Blues Fest. We have tons of music tonight. There are food stands everywhere, and we are going to have so much fun! Are you ready? I'm ready! does not like to dance. What? However, that is not true. Okay. I, am, well, I am an A plus dancer. Oh, that, mm, so we have differing opinions on his dancing. I think no matter what, we're not embarrassed to just have a good time. So we stood up, we were definitely feeling the groove and having a really good time. Thinking about it now, don't know where I've been. Driving all the time, down every dead end. All right. Adam is here setting up the paddle board. It is sunrise. We're going out. Oh, 
throw in the water is too confident. <laughs> in life, being able to experience both nature and the city is so important. So it was amazing in the last few days that we were able to combine both and experience both to a really full extent.